Chauncey Billups had coaching debut for the Trailblazers as Portland fell 124 to 121 to Sacramento. Dame went 0 for 9 from 3, including the potential game tying shot with one second left. And meanwhile, on the East Coast, Jason Tatum shot 2 for 15 from 3 and 7 for 30 overall as his Celtics fell to the Knicks in double overtime, 138 to 134, but it was quite a game. Shannon, who had the worst game? Tatum yeah, both of them played terrible. I think both, both of these are, could be considered their, one of their worst games, if not the worst games of their you uh, can career. You make that case. But I'm going to say Tatum, Skip. 7 of 30, the dude had it took more field goals than he had points. At least, at least Dame was... I mean, Dame was 8 of 24, had 20 points, and Dame had more field goals than he had points, or 9. But 2 of 15 from 3, 7 of 30? Mm-hmm. So the Tatum took six more shots and had a less field goal. Missed 13 threes? Yeah, turned the ball over more, had fewer assists. This is the game that Dame would love to have. Like, I mean, both guys would love to have it back. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to say Tatum in this situation. I, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a guy go 7 of 30 and 2 of 15 from the 3. Mm. Remember, it went two overtime. Yeah. So I watched that game, and it was a barn burner. Right. Both teams hit the wall in the second overtime, and nobody could make a shot. <laughs> but Jason Tatum is supposed to be that guy for right. the Celtics. Right. And to me, he's had his moments, but he's never actually become a made man as a superstar right. for the Boston Celtics. It's why they went and got Kyrie, and that failed. And in this case, you're waiting on Jason Tatum to become what the late, great Kobe Bryant wanted him to be as a superstar. But, Skip, you saw, it, not. but you saw him last year, Skip, drop 50 against he, the Nets he, in a playoff he, game. He, he can have those, he, those right. moments. Yes. I, I got it. But this was one of those games where you just need him to make a shot. Right. One, one shot here right. or there. By the way, your man Schroeder, yeah. late of the Lakers, he had a couple of shots in the first overtime, uh, end regulation, first overtime that could have won the game, and he gagged both of them. Yeah, you. you and so in this case, I admired Jason because he at least he kept firing. He just that, kept firing and firing to nowhere. Kobe would be proud of he, it. He would have been proud. <laughs> it, it was Kobe Memorial on that, just on having the sheer courage to and the pride shooting, yeah. just to keep shooting. Right. But the point was, it was no shame to lose to the Knicks on opening night right. at the Garden with Spike front and right. center mm-hmm. and a lot of celebrities in the crowd. And yet for Dame, it's a little worse to me because what do we always hear? It's Dame time, right? right. Yeah. This was Chauncey, your man Chauncey Billups, my man Chauncey Billups. This was his opening night. This was, was his first soiree as a head coach into the NBA, mm-hmm. right? And what happened? Well, CJ was sensational. Yes. C- CJ gave him 34, and Nurkic was pretty good with 20 and 14. But Dame goes 0 for 9, and Dame misses the shot, the late shot, to win the game. Right. And meanwhile, Harrison Barnes goes berserk for Sacramento and makes 8 of 11 threes yep. and gives them 36. But remember, Portland lost at home to Sacramento because it was not Dame time. Right. It was sack time, yes. right? Yes. And, uh, you know, uh, Darren Fox. Skip, the, the Kings might be a little sneaky team here. They could be. But, they could be but, a little sneaky. I say I that, that every year, and I look at them, and then, then it never, it never it, materialized. It sneaks off yeah. into the shadows, right? But they, but they got a guy, you know, Darren Fox, you know, at any given night, Skip, he can go get you 40. I got he, it. That joke will cat quick. Harrison Barnes will have a game here or there. And the they, man you should have traded for, Buddy Heald, he just comes off the bench and just in his sleep he makes four seven threes, and you could have had him. You had the deal. What you right want me to do, Skip? I, I'm not the GM. Yep. Well, LeBron is. LeBron could have had I him, mean, and LeBron said, no, I think I want to go marquee star power. I want Russ. Yes. I want to show the world I can win okay. with Russ when KD couldn't, and Kawhi didn't want him, and Paul George and James, they couldn't win with him. We are not going to yep. beat up on Russ mm-hmm. after the first game. Okay. We're going to go home. Watch a comedy, you know. Watch you, a you, comedy. Well, we, I watched Netflix. I watched a comedy. It was called The Game. Whatever. What, <laughs> <laughs> right? Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. You try to make it seem like it was the Keystone Cops or something. Okay. So I always tell you, Dame is not that guy D- either. Dame is. He, they don't do that, star. Skip. He's not a superstar. No, Skip, don't do that. Every Why would you do that? Gold medal Olympic game. He's got two to clinch, two free throws. Skip, gag, you gag, see that man clank, that hit clank. big shot after big shot. You've I, seen, I've seen him do him it. Here and there, and then when it's time to, to win one for Chauncey, which made me wonder, does he really want to play Yeah, he want to be there. Does he's, he want to be there for Chauncey or not? He said that oh, he— for nine? He skipped. It happened. Yeah. He said he won. Skip, we just saw uh, uh, 
Steph Curry said he played like trash. He was 5 of 21. Yep. It just so happens his team won. It happened. Maybe it's just going around, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, come on. The likelihood uh, in back to back night, Dame will be shooting this poorly and Steph Curry to shoot that poorly the night before. Well, it did make me wonder does he want to be in Philadelphia? Didn't he I just tell you he, wanted to be, he wanted to be in, he in, in Portland because of Chauncey and that's the reason he yep. wants to be there? That's he told he you that. Okay, here we go. But we're taking it out here. We just started the time. season. We just started. We'll give him a little second. Man, nobody want to see that G-Shock you got time. on over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about this, though? Could Case Keenum <laughs> actually steal Baker Mayfield's job tonight during Thursday yeah, Football might. on Fox? <laughs> <laughs> he Maybe. <might>. Don't go <laughs> anywhere. No mercy. According to Shaquille O'Neal, LeBron doesn't have to win another title to become the GOAT. All the king simply has to do is pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the NBA's all-time leading scorer to go with the four championships he's already got. And Shaq said he'll be cemented as, quote, the best player ever. That's a quote. That's a quote. Goat man, goat man. Chris Broussard still with us. Chris, how important (laughs) will breaking this record be in the never-ending GOAT debate? Go, man. (laughs) Well, Jay, let me let me give a little context first. All right. The great and quote worthy Shaquille O'Neal, I believe, has at various times said Michael Jordan's the GOAT, Kobe Bryant's the GOAT, and now LeBron James will be, right? I, I remember he certainly said Jordan. I remember in the early 2000s covering the league, he was saying Kobe is the best player he's ever seen. I went up to Shaq. And as I said, you've been saying this, what about Michael? And he said, what about him? <laughs> so, <laughs> and then Shaq. later on, he says, Jordan's the GOAT. You know, so I, Shaq is saying all these guys are the greatest. So, but as far as the, long, the argument for LeBron, I, for me, and I've got LeBron second to Michael. I got Michael as the GOAT. This record is nice, but it won't shift my thinking because that's not how we work. That's not how we judge the who's the GOAT in these leagues. It's not a longevity award. And that's what this record is. Like right now, Kareem is the all-time leading scorer and third all-time in rebounds. All right, LeBron's going to, if he's the all-time leading scorer, he's not going to be third in assists. All right, he'll be, should be probably be top five, but not third in assists. So, but Kareem's got that plus He's got as many rings as Michael and two more than LeBron. He's got more MVPs than anyone else, including Michael. And we still, for the most part, don't view Kareem as the GOAT. You go to other sports, Emmitt Smith, great, obviously all-time great. Does anybody think he's the greatest running back of all time, even though he's all-time leading rusher? Mm -mm. And Hank Aaron, before Barry Bonds, was the home run king. But it was a longevity thing. And we, we love Hank Aaron. He's all-time great. But I don't think anybody thought he was the greatest baseball player ever. So to me, that is my line of thinking. It won't switch what I think about LeBron being better than Jordan. But I get it for those that want to argue it because a big argument, Shannon, for LeBron is the longevity argument. That's going to – like those that want to promote LeBron as the GOAT, that's going to be your go-to is look at his all these records he's got because of his longevity. But but even if you take away the longevity, is that LeBron has played at such a supremely high level. I mean, LeBron has more All-NBA than Jordan has seasons played. And you talk about a guy that's probably going to be a starter again, so this will be his 18th consecutive start in the All-Star game. He's been an All-NBA. He's a 13-time first-team All-NBA player. Nobody has more than, what, 11? So when you look at when you look at the totality and the body of work and see, I'm with you, Chris. I believe whatever camp you're in, you're not packing up your stuff and going to someone else's camp. So if you believe Jordan is the GOAT, he's the GOAT. If you believe LeBron is the GOAT, LeBron is the GOAT. I don't believe Shaq saying what he's saying is going to change a whole lot of people's mind. If anything, I don't believe he's going to change anybody's mind because I believe everybody's dug in. Everybody's dug their trenches. Everybody's set up their tent, set up shop, whatever term or cliche you want to use. I believe they are where they are, Skip, and they're not leaving that. So for me, I believe LeBron is the GOAT. I believe he did a uh, Mondo Duplantis. He pole vaulted over 20 feet tall, high, to get over the GOAT, get over GOAT Jordan, and so now it's GOAT James. GOAT James is where it's at. And guess what? We're going to have five, five MVPs, 
all-time leading scorer, another first-team All-NBA, 40,000 points, no. 10,000 assists, and when it's all said and done, <laughs> and when, the, when it's time to give the benediction, you already know how it ends, Chris. We go home and have us a nice meal. <laughs> the benediction was given. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't.